Hi guys, it's Jenny. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today is a very special day because we are going to Akihabara! Yay! Uh, we are making a little bit of a short shopping trip to Akihabara because um, I just want to kind of browse around and I couldn't really film much talking here because the trains in Japan are pretty silent but we have made it! And you always know when you're in Akihabara when you start to see the maids they look so cute! They're always like promoting their cafes that they're in or like maid cafes and stuff like that but the first place that we're going to is Rashinban this is more of a second hand shop but they do sell some new items as well it's kind of a mix of both and it says if it's like new or not isn't this so cute i saw this like acrylic sand thing and it was adorable they have a lot of chainsaw man merch and then if you're really lucky sometimes you'll see the employees kind of i don't even why i don't know why this is fascinating but it's kind of like a behind the scenes to the merch that they sell Yeah, like I know the Blue Archive though is like a, a game. Yeah, but 
but then the rest of them, like Hollow Live, all of these are YouTubers. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, have you seen her? This is a girl that does. Oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> So while I'm unboxing some of my dresses, I kind of wanted to explain how to get Japanese fashion if you're outside of Japan because it's kind of like the most asked uh, question on my channel and basically um, if you search up the name of the brand that you would like to buy from, for example, this is from Evelyn. So Evelyn, if you go to their website and um, on the first page, if you're an online uh like if you're outside of the u.s they'll use this uh third carrier called world shopping world shopping is basically like i guess like the middleman kind of that helps uh evelyn get connected to the customer that's outside of japan and takes care of things like the shipping and uh, basically helps to get the product from japan to wherever you are in the world and it's really important to kind of keep in mind that not every brand 
in japan offers this service but a lot of the bigger ones actually do like liz lisa evelyn on rouge and there's a couple other ones like pm i want to make a dedicated video to the japanese fashion brands that i've been liking and the kind of more mainstream ones so i'll kind of save that for another time but if, yeah if there is a brand that you want to specifically buy from just try looking it up on google and then getting to their homepage and on their home page if there is uh like a world shopping or any other type of kind of like shopping helper that helps uh international customers then you would be able to use that uh, feature to basically get any clothes that you want and as a person that already lives in Japan and is in Japan, I never really used this service before, so it was my first time. And I think the very first thing that I thought and the kind of what made me um, never try this type of service before is actually because I didn't know if it was legitimate and stuff like that because it was my first time. So I kind of want to be like the trial one person in this situation and say yes um it this shipped all the way to my home in hawaii which is nice and yeah uh the process was actually incredibly simple that was the second thing that i wanted to mention because i think that when we see something like something pop up like this it feels like it's going to be super complicated but i did all my payments through either credit card or paypal and the process was literally just just like um you know shopping online and uh like basically like it was processed the same way as if i was just shopping on like pm's like actual online site or evelyn's actual online site like as a japanese customer so it wasn't like a hassle at all it wasn't complicated and the shipping took around two weeks which i was actually really surprised it did say that it was going to take maybe two to three weeks but um i thought that it was going to take way more for some reason but i was really pleasantly surprised that it came so so fast and yeah and also while i'm talking about uh shopping for japanese clothing brands i also kind of wanted to mention this site that i use to shop for like anime merch and just kind of basic things like that that you can't really find like um offline if you want to get like a specific merch or a specific uh like figure and stuff like that sometimes you won't be able to find it in the stores while you're walking around like akihabara or like shibuya and mercari is actually a great store for that so mercari is basically a secondhand online goods store and they sell they sell literally everything under the sun i think the best like comparison would be ebay i think that ebay also like if you just know the name of something you can literally find anything on ebay that's the same thing for mercari it's basically like japanese ebay <laughs> This restaurant is so fancy. Oh god.
So Kittyland is one of the places where people go to some of the most popular characters and now they also have like a lot of Chikawa stuff. 75% mic gain and I'm facing the mic. I'm at 100% mic gain and I'm facing the mic. I was gonna keep this footage as is, but I realized while I was searching up the name for this place, this place is temporarily closed. I don't know what that means. Like, I don't know if it's because they're undergoing renovation or if it's like closed permanently, but I am so upset because this was one of my favorite um, Kugatsu places. The reason for that is there's a really popular Kugatsu place called but um that kyugatsu shop has such a long line and there's always so many people there this was literally five minutes away from that place by walk and it was just as good i am i'm really upset right now that this i wanted to recommend it to you guys oh but um yeah kyugatsu is still one of my favorite foods so if you come to japan definitely try it out
People ask if physical cash is necessary or like coins and stuff. So this machine actually only has a slot for like bills and coins. So I would say it's pretty good to just have some spare cash on you at all times just in case you do end up going to one of these uh, ramen shops or uh, you just need to buy something from the vending machine because even though sometimes they usually take Suica or Pasmo which is one of the transportation cards it's always good to have like the safest option which is cash um, so that you can just pay by cash and normally when you get the ticket out of these vending machines you can give it to the chef that's like uh, on the other side they'll be waiting for you but in this case a server actually came out and they were the ones that took the ticket and then you can just get seated wherever you like sometimes if it's busy they'll guide you to a seat but most times these types of places you can just choose wherever to sit and it's very very chill because no one really uh, comes up to you and it's a more like I don't know it's a very like lonely in a good way process like it's very like chill and you can just do anything you want yourself like the drinks are usually self-served the chopsticks the little garnishes and stuff like that are all right there on your table so uh it's pretty like uh self-serve and yeah not just i don't want to say lonely process but i don't know like how to explain that like an unbothered process basically <laughs>
cafe in Hawaii is that when it's like nighttime and you're like, oh my god, I want to go like have something really sweet. All you have to do. So I'm gonna kind of end off the video here with me just getting some ice cream. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. And here is a little bit of a, I don't even know, like a montage jam session to me loving SZA. <laughs> Bye. I don't wanna look at me. Nobody gets me like you. Yep. All the flavors of gelato here. The one that I bought is cookies and cream and salt and caramel. So good.